Welcome to the ilostmyjob.com video podcast, providing information and resources for your job transition. First, Outlook News with Scott Combs. Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke says the U.S. economy is now in its seventh quarter of expansion, but job growth remains relatively weak and the unemployment rate is still high. In testimony before the Committee on Banking, Housing, and Urban Affairs, he noted that last quarter, for the first time in this expansion, the nation's real gross domestic product matched its pre-crisis peak. The central bank chief contended that real consumer spending in the nation has grown at a solid pace since last fall, and business investment in new equipment and software has continued to expand. An interesting new study from Baylor University finds the more honesty and humility an employee may have, the higher their job performance, as rated by the employee's supervisor. Researchers found that humility and honesty not only correspond with job performance, but predicted job performance above and beyond any of the other five personality traits, like agreeableness and conscientiousness. In light of the findings, researchers suggest more attention should be paid to honesty and humility in applicants and employees particularly those in caregiving roles. Honest and humble people could be a good fit for occupations and organizations that require special attention and care for products or clients. Narcissists, on the other hand, who generally lack humility and are exploitative and selfish, would probably be better at jobs that require self-promotion. The study currently appears online in the journal Personality and Individual Differences. Some of the top careers in the healthcare sector, according to U.S. News, athletic trainer, dental hygienist, lab technician, massage therapist, occupational therapist, optometrist, physician assistant, physical therapist, physical therapist assistant, radiologic technologist, registered nurse, school psychologist, and veterinarian. Now off to the numbers. Employers took 1,534 mass layoff actions in January, involving 149,799 workers, seasonally adjusted. Each mass layoff event involved at least 50 workers from a single employer. The number of mass layoff events in January increased by 51 from December, but the number of mass layoff events was down by 302 from a year ago. U.S. economic growth was revised downward to an annual rate of 2.8% in the fourth quarter of 2010, compared with the estimated pace of 3.2% in January, according to a report released by the Commerce Department recently. Real GDP, the overall economic activity, grew 2.8% in 2010 year-on-year, after declining by 2.6% in 2009. If you'd like to maximize your visit to ilostmyjob.com, make sure to pay attention to the What's New section, where you'll find a lot of useful information. Like the webinar, Stop Fitting In, Start Standing Out. Thanks for watching.